I think balancing a demanding job and a couple of classes and maintaining your personal family life um, is challenging. Um, and so you, my advice is that you do, um, you focus on classes that you know will be useful to you immediately because you feel that reward right away of being able to apply what you're learning. Um, and like I said, you also do have to pick, um, you have to decide how much you're going to be able to do with reading and whatnot um, because sometimes you can't do everything that, um, that's assigned. So I think you have to be reasonable and flexible with yourself. It's, it's really been great just to have a cohort of folks that understand what it is to be a working adult. We you know, could commiserate with each other about it, but also, we, I mean, again, then there's an understanding when you do, and we work a lot in teams, there's really an understanding about how do you take care of each other in that process and really help to balance the work for each other and having a lot of sympathy and a lot of um, support you know, to be able to get a project done because you know that so-and-so has, I, I'm in a project right now with two parents um, that are single parents right now with two children that are going through all kinds of, exactly, people are, and again, we've learned how we really, we Skype a lot because we know that that's going to be the best way to work together. You know, with the EMPA, you definitely, you're taking less courses. Um, so what I found was it's really important to choose your courses wisely. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you're in a graduate program, there's never going to be a throwaway class, but you definitely, definitely want to make sure that you're choosing courses that are really interesting to you, whatever that may be. Um, I found availability was no problem at all. In fact, I think because the EMPA, I actually think the EMPA students sort of get the leg up when it comes to some of the really popular courses in which get waitlisted, um, I think because the, 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 the staff here at Wagner know that the EMPA students have less courses to take and have to move at a different pace that they, a lot of times I think, get priority placement in some of these courses because they're, they don't have the time to wait and take it a different semester. It's like now or they're not taking it. So from my experience, I found that there's actually courses that I didn't get to take that I would love to have taken. Um, so yeah, so for me, it was tough sometimes to choose between a few courses that I really wanted to take and I struggled like, do I need this, do I not need this, or do I want this, do I not want this? Um, and there's, there's always more courses that you want to take than you have time to take. And so that's why I think for me, it was really important to make sure that I touched upon what was very interesting to me, as well as some of the practical hands-on skills that I thought I could really use. Um, and so I think I did a little bit of a balance of this sounds really fun and this sounds like something I could really use and apply every day. Um, and so that was sort of how I, I approached it. Um, there are some tremendous faculty here. And you may then say, you know what, I, I'm not going to take performance measurement. I'm going to wait until so and so comes back. And as an EMPA, you have that flexibility because even though it is an accelerated program, I'm not going to complete it in, in the typical time frame. I will probably take longer. I may finish in the fall uh, as opposed to you know, in the spring. There's tremendous flexibility, particularly for those of us who are uh, working full time and want to fit in certain courses. And so I think that, that the faculty becomes as important as the course itself. And I think that you learn that by talking to fellow students, by talking to your advisor, uh, by talking uh, and looking at the syllabi, which are all available online now, if you wanted to get an idea of what's involved in a course. Um, so I think that, that there's other ways to, to ascertain that. But you know, just to echo uh, what's been said, you do want to choose carefully. And so sometimes you may want to wait for the faculty member to come back from wherever you know, they're, they're not that time.